Japan on Monday, Tokyo residents woke up to the strongest earthquake felt since the Fukushima quake and tsunami over three years ago. At 5.18 a.m. local time, the 6.0 magnitude quake struck the seabed near an island south of Tokyo. Though the trembler could be felt beyond the capital region, the most intense shaking reportedly occurred in central Tokyo. At least 17 people are reported to be injured with no reports of major damage. And we've seen a lot of sinkholes, but few of them happening in real time. This one swallowed a road in Russia. Watch as a big hole opens up right in the middle of traffic. It was 21 feet across. Luckily, no cars fell in. It's believed the ground gave way because of erosion after a storm. And a powerful spring storm is causing a second day of weather chaos. The northern plains are seeing heavy rain and strong winds. This storm is also bringing tornadoes that have caused severe damage in Missouri and Nebraska. 15 tornadoes reported in this one state There's another one in just three hours Sunday night. In addition to what you mentioned, the tornadoes and the strong wind, portions of the state have also battled record rainfall. In total, about 100 miles across the state have been affected by this weather. And to the west in Colorado, Mother Nature delivering a Mother's Day whiteout. Up to a foot of snow in the Rockies. The threat is now severe flooding with more rain falling in parts of the state of Texas in the last day than they had seen all this year. And record heat is fueling fires once again in California. This is the brute power of floodwaters in Ohio, washing away a road outside Cleveland as three feet of water poured into this high school. In upstate New York, a state of emergency after creeks flooded the village of Gowanda. Penyon, which is located in Yates County, experienced sidewalks that were completely washed out, parking lots completely destroyed, even a building that collapsed. Countless dead bunker continue to line the shores of Shark River. So far, the Neptune Township Public Works crew has collected and disposed of 5.5 tons of the dead fish. Just a few feet away, they're dumping these fish by the wheelbarrow full into front end loaders to be hauled away to a local landfill. Tons and tons of dead men Hayden died in what the state DEP says was an unusual event of too many fish swimming into the shark using all the oxygen an apocalyptic scene. Three days on and swathes of Southern California are still being gorged on by wildfires. Over 10,000 acres now burnt to ashes. Everything from the local Legoland to a nuclear power plant has had to be evacuated. Residents have been urged to flee as fast as possible. Flames raging as thousands of firefighters work to beat them back. Six of at least nine wildfires still not under control in San Diego County. Over 120,000 evacuation notices have been issued. More than 25,000 acres charred, one person dead. An unusually early start to the fire season. So far, California firefighters are responding to almost 1,500 wildfires, nearly double that of an average year. Severe flooding has led to a state of emergency being declared in Austria, Serbia and Bosnia. The flooding is affecting countries right across the Balkan region, with three months' worth of rain having fallen in just a few days. Tens of thousands of people have been forced out of their homes after the worst floods in the Balkans since records began 120 years ago. Landslides are bringing more misery to the Balkans, with homes collapsing after record rainfall that's left at least 45 people dead. The government in Bosnia says over a million people, or a quarter of the population, has been affected by flooding and landslides, comparing the destruction to that of the country's war in the 1990s. Somewhere beneath these murky waters lurk nearly 120,000 mines, or more than 9,000 minefields. They've been unearthed by the more than 2,000 landslides. Sky watchers in the south were treated to an unusual display Friday night. Watch as a meteoroid the size of a basketball streaks across the night sky captured by a NASA camera. This kind of fireball is called an earth grazer because it skims along the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere before burning up. It traveled about 290 miles from Columbia, South Carolina, across Georgia, and finally burning up just north of Chattanooga, Tennessee.
NASA says that distance is quite rare for a meteor. An unusual phenomenon is happening right now in Marina del Rey. Thousands of dead anchovies and other sea life are floating in the water. The Department of Fish and Wildlife has been called out to investigate. Thousands of dead fish, including anchovies, halibut, stingrays, sunfish, and octopus, are covering the rocks at Marina del Rey. At this point, marine biologists say it appears to have occurred when rising temperatures created what they call an oxygen dead zone, and the warmer water can't hold as much oxygen. This was not snow, it was hail, and in some cases up to 20 centimeters of hail that fell across some of these areas in Sao Paulo. Pretty significant stuff. And this is huge. Look at that. They had to use bulldozers to move it out of the way. The people still had uh, some of this icy stuff on their lawns the next day. That's how long it took for it to melt. Pretty impressive. Now, when this happens, it comes from some pretty intense and severe thunderstorms. Uh, it did cause some damage to buildings, to cars, broken windows was a big concern. As Brazil prepares to host the World Cup in just a matter of weeks, part of the airport roof in the host city of Manaus has collapsed. The roof caved in after heavy rains, and while Manaus Airport is expected to welcome thousands next month, the car park, parts of the arrival and departure lounges are flooded. Tremors were felt across India in Delhi and the national capital region, Chennai, Kolkata and Bhuvaneshwar, among other places, after an earthquake measuring 5.6 on the Richter scale hit the Bay of Bengal region. What is worrying uh, seismologists is this is an area which is not prone to earthquakes and why should an earthquake happen of 5.6 magnitude so close to the east coast of India is worrying the Indian seismologists and that remains a mystery. In Clarksville, Tennessee, a sinkhole has opened up at Austin P. State University, right in the end zone of the football stadium. It started small, but crews dug a hole 40 feet deep and 40 feet wide to find bedrock so they could fill it in. Time if you're one of the tens of millions heading out of town for the holiday, we want to tell you powerful storms, including a destructive hailstorm in Pennsylvania, have already led to serious travel delays and damage. Cars ding like someone took a hammer to them and an inch and a half of hail. It looked like someone dumped an ice machine in the parking lot. So much it had to be plowed. It's a violent weather front, the kind we usually see more like midsummer. The pictures out of Reading, Pennsylvania tonight show some violent hail damage there. And look at this in Nevada, that wall of dust swallowing a highway driver suddenly unable to see right in front of them. Forecasters say it came from a dry lake bed and was kicked up by a thunderstorm. Visibility dropped to less than a mile. A similar storm in western New Mexico may have caused a chain reaction accident. Colorado hit by flooding again yesterday, the third severe weather day in a row. And we're learning more about the storms that hit the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic last night. Strong winds, snapping trees. The National Weather Service surveying today, confirming tonight that the tornado near Albany, New York, was an EF3. Winds as high as 140 miles per hour. Not even, they didn't even have tornado warnings in parts of upstate New York, and they still got hammered. And another confirmed tornado in Delaware. It lifted this mobile home right off its foundation. At least 15 people have been killed and five others are missing after downpours hit South China's Guangdong province. And the rainstorms, labelled as occurring once every 100 years, have swept through Guangzhou, Zhaoqing and Qingyuan cities since Wednesday. Friday's downpour caused secondary disasters everywhere with water levels reaching hazardous level. Crops were submerged and villagers had to climb to the roofs of their houses to escape the rising water. Since Wednesday, rainstorms in Guangdong have affected 800,000 people. The storms caused the emergency evacuation of 60,000 people and the collapse of nearly 3,000 houses. In Yangshan, flood water from upper streams hit this town, flooding it completely. Electricity and water were cut off in many villages, forcing residents to use their canoes to help themselves. A huge earthquake has shaken Greece and parts of Turkey. It struck off the coast of Greece in the Aegean Sea at around midday local time, that's 11 o'clock Central European time. The quake was felt in Athens and Istanbul and shook the entire Thrace and Aegean regions. The US Geological Survey put it at 7.2 on the Richter scale, although Turkish and Greek authorities said it was 6.5.
Crews this morning are searching for three people reported missing after a massive mudslide in western Colorado. It happened near the town of Colburn. Heavy rain over the weekend helped trigger it, and the mudslide is four miles long, two miles wide. In some places, it's 250 feet deep. So far, no homes are reported damaged. Uh, what happens is the ground just gets extremely saturated from the rain, and because the slope is so steep, it can't hold the weight of the water within the soil, and that slope fails. And so that's where you get those landslides, unfortunately. In North Dakota, a tornado hit last night with little warning. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Look at that, dude. That is an unbelievable view of a tornado curling through the red dirt of North Dakota. Today, the National Weather Service determined this was a category EF2 tornado with winds of 120 miles per hour. It was as wide as a football field is long. Nine people were injured. That tornado, one of more than 140 severe weather reports from Texas to Florida in the past 24 hours. A separate system brought hail, heavy rains, and flooding to Texas. Guys, we're talking about hail, flooding, rain, tornadoes. Look at how much rain they picked up in Texas over the last four days. Over five inches in Lubbock, San Angelo four, almost three in Houston, and Dallas almost two inches of rain. Parts of Texas have seen more rain in the last five days than in the last year and a half. One woman was found dead near fallen branches and power lines. And an incredible piece of video out of South Dakota. We know storm chasers take on a certain amount of risk doing what they do, but in this instance, one of them was shooting video of a thunderstorm while sitting in his car when he was hit in the arm with a bolt of lightning, passed all the way to the ground below where it left a small crater. He made it through. He's okay. A large sinkhole has opened up beneath a million dollar mansion on the New South Wales central coast. Neighbours discovered the ground had collapsed beneath the left corner of the Swansea house last night, swallowing the basement and the patio. A disused mine shaft has collapsed beneath the property. Caskets from the cemetery on Belrose Lane floating away from their resting places. Men try to weight them down with sandbags. Even this church looks to be underwater. Sand. It's sad. People out here in boats and stuff. You don't need no car now. You need a boat to get out of here. This is the aftermath of today's storm. But flooding wasn't just happening here. Tonight here, take a look at this image that came in today from Evansville, Indiana. A giant sinkhole swallowing up a car at a stop sign. Everyone was okay. It seems we've seen so many of them lately, including the one we first reported on last night here, just across from a theme park in Florida. Check out this 85 foot long, 18 foot deep crater that's getting bigger by the minute in a parking lot just across the street from Florida's Legoland theme park. According to Florida Geological Survey that measures sinkholes and similar incidents, in the sinkhole prone center of the state, there have been 296 depressions since 2010. More than 50,000 square feet of land devoured. An earthquake that hit southwest China's Yunnan province has injured at least 34 people, including three in a serious condition. The 6.1 magnitude quake jolted the region, which is near the Myanmar border, on Friday morning, with footage showing people running through the streets as the tremors were felt. A volcano erupting in Indonesia has forced authorities there and in Australia to cancel commercial flights. Sangangapi volcano in the southeast of the country began erupting yesterday. Ash clouds prompted carriers to cancel all flights in and out of Darwin in northern Australia, and some flights to the holiday hub of Bali are also affected. If the ash spreads further, more flights around the Southeast Asia could be cancelled.